All right, so I have a lot of exciting stuff today that I wanted to share with you, but first off, hi again, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay Vaness, and thank you for joining me. And one of the things that we're gonna be talking about today is plumerias. Plumerias. And what better way to celebrate plumerias than to bring out my plumeria clips that I got in Oahu when I was visiting my sister. So shout out to everyone in Hawaii, or should I say aloha. Also, there was one other thing I wanted to share with you before we get started. It's a monarch butterfly. I've actually been raising them for two years now, and this one is a big one. It's a girl, baby girl. And um, she emerged from her chrysalis earlier today, so she's almost ready to fly. Oh. So what I'm probably gonna do is set her on one of my trees to let her wings dry up a little bit more and soon she'll be off. Say bye. Okay, so back to plumerias. So last week, Florida got hit with Hurricane Irma and in the area that we are located, we didn't get too much damage, thankfully. Just a lot of uprooted trees and broken branches. And when I was driving around my neighborhood, I noticed that one of my neighbors chopped up their plumeria tree because it had fallen. And I guess what they didn't know is that you can actually propagate these plumeria cuttings and it will survive and grow into a tree. So, I did what every normal person would do, which was to save them from the trash. I also wanted to show you another one of my plumeria trees that started as a cutting. This is about two years old. When I first got it, it was like this big. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So one of the many things that you want to keep in mind when working with a plumeria cutting is that you want your cuttings to be at least 12 inches or longer. And once you get the cuttings, you want to remove almost all of the leaves off of the stem, maybe just leaving these tiny ones up at the top. So that's what we're gonna do right now is to remove all of the leaves off of these cuttings right here. You might wanna wear gloves when working with plumerias because they do have some sticky sap. These cuttings have already been drying for about a week. That's usually about the amount of time you want to give them to callus over. See right there, that's the sap of the plumeria. So as I mentioned before, you want to give them about a week to dry out and callus over before planting them. Just store them in a warm and shady place out of direct sunlight and with good circulation. To talk a little bit about the soil, you definitely want to make sure it is well draining, preferably a mixture of two parts per light and one part potting medium. You could also add a little bit of um, burr mictolite, which is a mixture that you can pick up at your local nursery. It helps to improve soil drainage and really helps with germination of roots when working with plant cuttings. All right, so we're just gonna mix it all up here. Per light. Now the vermiculite. Now that we've got our soil mixed, I'm going to put it into a container that has holes for good drainage. Leave about an inch of space from the top of the pot. We're almost ready to plant the cutting, but first what I like to do is I actually like to dampen the soil before putting the cutting into the pot. So I'm gonna go do that right now. When dampening your soil, you just wanna make sure that the water runs through until it drains through the bottom of the pot. All right, so now what we're gonna do is prepare the cutting for planting. I would definitely recommend some root growing hormone. I pretty much use this for almost any cutting that I am propagating, whether it be a plumeria cutting 
like we are working with today or a succulents that I have also propagated in previous videos before. I would say it really helps in giving the plant an extra boost to developing the roots. So if you by chance go to your local nursery, definitely pick one of these up um, because it can really help out your plumeria. All right, so we're going to work with this cutting right here. And what you'll first wanna do is um, dip the bottom of the cutting into some water and then into the root growing hormone. Covering about an inch of the cutting into the powder. Now, once you're done doing that, what you'll wanna do is to place your cutting into your pot, pushing it about three to four inches into the soil, and then pack it down nice and tight around the cutting. All right, one down or more to go. Since this is one of the largest plumeria cuttings that I have, I'm going to want to use a bigger size pot Time for water. All right, grabbing my cutting. Following the same steps as before. And since this is a fairly large cutting, definitely well over 12 inches, I'm going to add a stake to add extra support until the cutting has had time to root. What I'm using right now is bonsai wiring, only because it's what I had laying around. You can definitely use twine or any type of string. Nice and sturdy. All right, so I had to change the direction on which I was shooting because I am filming smack dab in the middle of the afternoon. And here in Florida, the sun basically melts your face. And because it's so hot in Florida, I like to leave my plumeria cuttings in a shady but yet sunny spot until it actually roots. In about a month or two, your plumeria cutting should root. And one of the ways that you can tell that your plumeria cutting has rooted is to actually rotate the cutting like this very gently. If it is resistant and doesn't rotate, then that's one way to tell that the plant has actually sprouted some roots. Another good indication that your plumeria has rooted is that it will produce new foliage right at the tip. All right, well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. When I'm not shooting videos, I am taking pictures, so please follow for daily inspo as well as updates on how my plumerias are doing or my succulents or even my butterflies for that matter. So thanks again. Bye. See you next time. Be quiet. Shush. Be quiet. Oh my God, this is gonna drive me nuts. It's gonna take forever.